Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video on solving for the Marshallian demands for n good Cobb Douglas. So we have this following um, case here where we were maximizing this n good uh, Cobb Douglas function subject to a standard budget constraint. And like usual, we're going to follow these four steps. And this is going to be the same four steps for pretty much every uh, nonlinear uh, Marshallian demand solving process. It's just that you have to know the tricks associated with such a system. So we're going to first write our Lagrangian, take the first order conditions of our Lagrangian with respect to good i and good j. Uh, we're going to use those first order conditions to solve for some intermediate x i hat. And then we're going to go and take our x i hat and sub it into our budget constraint to go and obtain x j hat, which is the Marshallian demand for every good j in this structure. So we're going to go and write our Lagrangian. And to make our lives a little bit easier, we're going to go and rewrite this as follows. So what this does for us is that it allows us to go and keep count of xi and xj while ignoring um, this whole thing. We haven't changed anything with this expression. We're going to take our first order conditions. Now, I put a third first order condition here, but usually I'm lazy and I don't really include that, but our two main conditions are equation one and equation two down here. For our third step, we're gonna use our first order conditions and we're going to solve for x i hat. So we're going to divide two by one. And one of the things that we should notice right away is that these big terms just get knocked off right away, as well as these multipliers here. Um, this goes and then simplifies to this uh, expression above from which we are able to go and obtain our intermediate bundle here. So next we're going to sub in our intermediate bundle into our budget constraint to obtain our Marshallian demands for xj. Now we have to know a couple of uh, tricks here. So putting a little hat here, we note that we can go and knock off pi and pi here. And note that every term that doesn't have a subscript I on it, we can just pull through that sum. So we're able to go and have uh, this thing, right, right here, separate from it. And from this, we're able to go and solve for xj, which is our Marshallian demand for good j. And good j could be, you know, any good that we go and we pick. This is for every single good um, in our n good system. So you can go and apply this to, uh, you know, goods of any kind. Like if you get a question where you have five goods, uh, 10 goods. You only really need to pay attention to two goods in order to go and solve for a general solution. So this is uh, how you go and solve for n goods in a Marshallian demand case. I hope this helps. Take care.